pasteurization, secondly, ultra heat treated, UHT, and lastly, extended shelf life, ESL. HTSD treatment is performed by, running milk either over heated metal plates, or through heated metal pipes, where it's kept at 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. It's a pretty intermediate approach, using moderate intensity heat, applied for a moderate amount of time. When you see a carton of milk, labeled simply as pasteurized, you're usually seeing HTSD treated milk. Ultra heat treatment on the other hand, subjects the milk to temperatures of around 140 degrees Celsius, but only for 4 seconds. The process involves spraying the milk through a nozzle, and into high temperature, pressurized steam. After it reaches that maximum temperature, the milk is rapidly cooled down in a vacuum chamber, and packaged in an airtight, sterile container. UHT is a very deadly process for bacteria, and the resulting product is actually sterilized not just pasteurized. As a result, UHD products like milk and juice, in the right packing can safely be stored even without refrigeration, for up to 9 months at a time. Products treated this way are generally labeled as UHT or ultra-pasteurized. Finally, extended shelf life milk, uses lower temperatures, than UHT, but mixes in a microbial filtration step to the process. Now, let's understand. Do pasteurization even work? Before pasteurization, milk was one of the most dangerous foodstuffs available, as it's an awesome environment for germs to thrive. Due to unpasteurized milk consumption, some 65,000 people died of tuberculosis from a day's old milk in England and Wales alone. But a 15 seconds pasteurization process will leave only 1 in a million to 10 million germs alive, meaning a glass of pasteurized milk is probably one of the safest food items we can enjoy.